My name is Tanya Lacey and you're watching Soul Culture TV. From my sort of mid-teens, um, I was always attracted to London just because it's so big, so diverse. Um, and I'm from a small city, which, which I felt um, at some points was quite suffocating. Um, so I moved to London three years ago and that was the, kind, that was the start of my uh, of my my rise within the music industry. The, the moment I moved to London, things started to happen a lot quicker for me um, in comparison to being in Bristol. Bristol is full of creative people, you know, it's it's a real hub of talent and um, so I was I was always around people who were doing music, whether they were producing or dancers. I used to dance with a with a group um, back home. So there's loads, there's loads of creative people and there's loads of things to get involved in. Um, I just found that connecting the dot from creativity into getting into the mainstream industry, that was the most difficult thing for me because, as you know, the industry is based in London. So at some point, I felt like I would need to take the plunge and move to London and pursue it, you know, hardcore. <laughs> Me and my manager have a, a motto which is music saves all and basically what that means is as long as you're coming with fire when it comes to down to your music you're going to be relevant and, and hopefully people will, um, will appreciate what you're doing. Um, so with that motto in mind what we did is when I first moved to London I literally moved, I came to London with one suitcase and I, I was staying in studios um, friends' houses, on the floor, on, on the couch, always with the motto in mind that music saves all and as long as I'm in the studio and I'm creating and I'm getting better at what I'm doing, I'm going to be able to come with the fire in order for me to contend with the big names. Yeah. Switch! Switch and them special delivery, them call it closure. Ever since the day I told you that we was over, my life's on blast. I'm in first class. You don't deserve my love, and it was nice to know ya. S T A R, stronger than all the rest. S T A R, you don't know I was the best. Oh, I might have stayed if you believed. Sincerely, me, yeah. There's a lot of truth in my lyrics. Um, it's very heartfelt. My voice naturally is um, more of a soulful tone, um, which is the kind of voice that I love, like Mary J. Blige and Lauren Hill. Both have a lot of texture to their voice. Um, so I have that kind of, that rich texture um, that I'm bringing. Also, hard hip hop beats. I love um, old school hip hop. I'm a very big fan of um, the hip hop movement, especially in the 80s in uh, New York. And I'm just so happy to have been able to create a lot of my album out there and drawing from those influences. That's what my album's going to be bringing. A little bit of reggae as well. I'm half Antiguan so um, I draw a lot from the reggae influences and during the beginning part of my journey I started out in a reggae band so I was able to, to you know, take little bits of, uh, of that and in incorporate in, in my record which is amazing. I want people to come to my show and to feel inspired and you know, um, and not have one sort of, not one piece of doubt in their mind that I wasn't born to do this, you know. It's, it's an honour uh, to be on the stage and you have to earn your place to be on the stage and I've, I feel like I'm, I've been doing that and I'm going to continue to do that and to, um, you know, to perform as best I can and to, to create music that is as relevant as possible and timeless. Um, so that's my, that's my overall goal, I think. Dear Tony, I remember you being the one who told me That we would always be together but you showed me That you were phony and you know me I don't like to play those run around games Since you got this far I gotta ask a question What would you do if you were in my position? Would you listen after the cheating and fighting and all that stuff? I know, I know, you may not see it now I knew, I knew, I'd make it somehow I might have stayed if you believed Sincerely me I wrote a letter to my ex Just to get it off my chest Had to let him know I'm about to blow I'm gonna be a star 
S T A R. Letter to my ex, moving on to the next. Couldn't care less. I'm about to blow. Cause I'm gonna be a star. S T A 